We start this week's highlights at Montgomery Academy, where the Class 6A Eagles hosted Crosstown Trinity Presbyterian in volleyball action. Coach Julie Gordon, who recently surpassed 1,500 career wins, watched her Eagles defeat the Wildcats 2-0 with 25-16 and 25-14 wins. Bennett Britt led the Eagles with five kills, while several Eagle players tied with four each. That included Amelia Hughes, Ellie McBride, and Caroline McDaniel. Eddie Vinson added eight digs. McBride led the team with five blocks. Montgomery Academy improved to 24-2 on the season with the win. We start the football highlights with state record performance in Mobile by McGill 2 and Catholic place kicker Jack O'Neill. He kicked a state record six field goals, accounting for all of his team's points in the Yellow Jackets' 18-16 win over Theodore in a 6A Region 1 matchup. The six field goals surpasses the previous record of five set by Crosby Gray of Spain Park back in 2015, as well as Sage Ledbetter 2013, Josh Woodard of the Decatur in 2001, Tim Rogers from Mountain Brook in 1990, and Ricky Beck of Geneva in 1970. All field goals were kicked in the rain and were from 38 yards, 40 yards, 31, 32, 32, and 34. We move next to Elba High School where the Tigers hosted McKenzie High School Class 1A Region 2 in another game where a state record was set. It took four overtimes and 158 points to decide this one, with McKenzie pulling out an 80-78 victory. The 158 points set the single game record for points by both teams. Sensational Elba running back Alvin Henderson rushed for 435 yards and nine touchdowns, which tied the state record set by Hubbardville's Tommy Haley Ricks. Henderson also had two two-point conversions and finished with 58 points. McKenzie High School emerged, however, with some incredible performances as well. Wade Jackson threw for 345 yards for McKenzie and six touchdowns. Aiden Wilsley rushed for 153 yards and two touchdowns. Skylar Sanders had seven catches for four touchdowns to help lead McKenzie to the victory. Coach Brian Bradford improved at 3-0 on the season. He picked up some good yardage. Uh, on first down, so it's going to be second and goal from the two, it looks like, Ray. All right, second down. Ball handed to snap to Miller. Miller hands it to Chase. Chase is in. First score of the night. See seven. Here about three minutes left to go in the second quarter. Ball handed to Tracer around left end. He makes, oh, big hit. Breaks a tackle. He's getting in, Richard. You can't arm tackle him. All right, Miller, quarterback, Stracener. Ball handed to Stracer. He lowers his head, picks up a touchdown for the second time in two. Pistol formation. Ball snap. Hand to Stracer over right Get tackle. Up, Big Daddy. He's, He's in. in. He is. Touchdown. Touchdown. Hornet. That's touchdown. That's one. Off power in the shotgun hands. He's going to keep it, actually. He fooled me, and he bounces left. He's going to run. He's got space. He jukes back to the middle. There goes Caden, bouncing to the right side, finds the end zone. Touchdown. On the 15-yard line, Hoffbauer shotgun formation, a Spartan offensive line moving and resetting. And Hoffbauer takes a snap, going to give to Stewart Andrews, going to bounce inside, roll into what I thought was the end zone. And his Spartans on this third and four from the 43. Ellington looks to pass. He's got a man complete across the middle. He will go. And we've got a tie ball game here in Hueytown, folks. Pass. I'm trying. We never want to rush things, but get out there so we don't have to burn one of our timeouts. The snap, the kick. Roberts up and through yeah! the uprights. On their first possession, Russell took over. Here's Goodwin, the give to Fennessey. Dances left. He's going to walk almost untouched into the end. The first quarter, Golden Tigers on the move again in Red Devil territory. Here's the snap. Goodwin gives to Fennessey again. Sidesteps the defender, runs over another one. He's clear. He's got the touchdown. Having his way against this. Here's the snap. Goodwin's got it. He gives to Fennessey. They're trying to get him from behind. They can't, so he's going to power forward through a couple oh, of wow. the defenders. 
and get into the end zone. Look, got a little mo on their side, but here comes Fennessy for the and Franklin Holmes. First down, he's gone. stops. He gets into the backfield. Oh, he breaks somebody's ankles at the 50. He's inside the 40. He's down to the 30. He's taking it to the house. Touchdown, Golden Tigers. The 2024 edition of the Madison Bowl ended in a thriller. Bob Jones, coached by Kelvis White, and James Clemens, coached by Chad McGee. Running back MJ Gideon led the Jets with 144 rushing yards and three touchdowns, while defensive back Bryson Dowdle led the defense recording 10 tackles. One of them was for a loss, one pass breakup, and two block kicks, including what could have been the game tying field goal in the final seconds of the fourth quarter to secure a 34 31 win for James Clemens in a Class 7A Region 4 matchup. 